Hey everyone, Jim D. Graham with rcgroups.com. We are back with Mike from Robart. What's going on, Mike? Hey, Jim. Everything's going well. How are you, bud? Doing good. We have been doing, uh, if this is the first time you're viewing this, an update on Robart products you can expect to see on the site. And we're individually showcasing some of these products. And so today, Mike, we're talking about a variable rate control valve yes right so this has been a standard in the industry for operating your pneumatic landing gear it's our 167 vr okay and you can see real quick that this originally or now is a silver it was red okay but we're changing ah. it over to be silver okay so that's what we're talking about today, Jim. We're going to be talking about the air valves. Right? Okay, awesome. Uh, and if you're running pneumatic retracts, you're used to seeing the red valve. And we used to offer a red, green, and black control valves. Now we are just going to be oper just um, offering the red, formerly known as the red valve. Now it's our silver valve. And it operates exactly the same. So this is part number 167VR. Uh, comes with the valve itself and some instructions. And we'll cut this open so that everybody can see the valve. I'll give you a quick overview of the instructions in here. So this is the instructions page. This is also available on the support page of robart.com. Okay. And then the, the back gives a nice diagram, on uh, color-coded diagram on how to set up your either your tri-gear or, so this would be your tri-gear or this would be just a two-gear setup, All right? Got it. So the nice thing about this valve the glare is kind of a pain, and I apologize for that. All right. So the nice thing about this valve, in between here, this is where your air goes in. These are where your air goes out. These thumb finger screws right here, this is where the variable comes in. This, if you loosen and tighten your thumb screw, your finger screws right here, that will add or release restriction on the outbound airflow. So this is, so as you're putting the air in, if you're taking air out, depending on which, where you have your air cylinder, the out, it's restricting air to flow out, which is then slows down either your, your retraction or your deployment. Okay. So, so that's a fi you can finely tune with those uh, little valves exactly the speed that you want. There's that is correct. Lots of variable. And then your so your push rod from your servo to operate will connect into this stem right here. All right. And then you'll put a clevis to attach on. And so that will move in and out to operate the uh, valve here. Okay. Got it. This little bezel nut on the side, this is how you will mount the um this valve onto a flat so the reason that we don't it does not come with a mounting bracket itself is these get mounted in many different places within your airplane so that's why i uh, give you the modeler the opportunity and simply what you'll do is you'll just drill a hole in a piece of plywood or a plastic piece of plastic um, so on and so forth and then you can just tighten up this nut right here to bring that and tighten it up to mount it inside your airplane. So. It's a very trick little piece, you know, simplistic yet uh, does a lot of things. It does. And it is also repairable or not so much repairable, but serviceable. So right. if you remove, let's see if I can get, so on the end a of clip. the valve here, yeah, we've got a little retaining ring right here. Okay. And that retaining ring, it's, trying to get a good view i apologize but if you remove that retaining ring you can completely remove the valve stem and then you can relubricate the seals yeah. that are inside of this 
with a white lithium grease. Okay. A non aerosol. Do not use a spray. Use a tube, and then you'll put that on it. Okay. So this is serviceable. And then once, and then I should actually say this here. So on the variable part, there is a stop nut. Once you get your, uh, once you get the speed of your retraction, your deployment down, lock down this stop nut, which will hold in your valve, your release valve here, your air valve. Okay. Keeping your uh, extremely rattling engine from changing everything slightly every time you fly. Correct. Correct. All right. So this is the part number. So Robart part number 167VR. And you can find this so we, on our website. Let's go take a look. Yep. So if you go to robart.com. In the upper right hand corner, you can either type in the part number 167 VR, which what? will bring you here, or what you could do right. is click on air system components. Oh, I see on the left here. One second. Let me go back. Go back to catalog or put the very yeah. discount. Okay. So hover over air system components and then go to air valves. There it is, 167VR. And you can click on that right there, which will bring you onto the web page. The web page does have the instructions, how it works, so on and so forth. There's a little video on how to test them also. One thing that I should note, because we get, we get calls on this all the time, is this air valve is the only place in your pneumatic system that air should release. So air will release out of these two ports here. Oh. If you have air releasing out of these two ports and your gear is not in operation, most likely the valve is not what's leaking. Most likely there is a leak somewhere else in the system. All right, it's most likely going to be in your air cylinder, which means that air is getting past the gaskets in the air cylinder and then showing itself right here. So Got something it. that we can talk about later on, we could do another video on uh, pneumatic, on checking pneumatic systems, right? We, we could do a video on that soon too. Okay, great. Well, this is another update on Robart. What products you can find on the site, how to get there, what they do, and there will be more to come. Mike, thanks so much for taking time out of the week to hang out with everyone at RC Groups and Flying Giants. Thank you so much, Jim, and have yourself a wonderful week. All right, everyone, uh, hit all the buttons and uh, go out there and fly something. Have a good day.